like the rest of the country, Dundalk has plenty of problems, but a fight back is underway. That's the one thing, inherent thing that Irish people have always had. They're dogged and they fight. But a fight in Irish, I mean, you didn't get that name for nothing, you know, and we can see that is evident in Dundalk. Kieran O'Neill is a boxing coach at a new business venture, the studios in Dundalk. He's training local businessmen and women for a charity event in the town next month. The punch bags could just as easily be government ministers. Dundalk is probably particularly badly hit because it's so close to the border. We definitely need a change in government. We need a younger government, I think. People who understand the times that we're in at the moment. There are some positive signs. The exodus of shoppers to the north has waned, with customers now looking for value and quality closer to home. Did you enjoy your stay with us? It's excellent. Everything was brilliant. First well, class. Time with us. Yes. Northerners are still flocking to the highly rated Bally Miscanlan Hotel, but General Manager Chris Braden believes success for other local businesses could depend on the new government. Well, one of the things we need from the new government is some action on things like local authority charges. Retailers in Dundalk are suffering, really suffering. Local authority public sector has to be reined in. The spending there has to be more sensible now for the times we're in. Meanwhile, Bill Tosh of Dundalk Chamber of Commerce is hoping a unique cross-border enterprise zone will be established to boost the region. After promises promises, he says political leaders have to start delivering. A bit too much rhetoric in the past, to be honest with you. Uh, too many you know, dead promises made but not followed, not fulfilled.